Hi, Vinny Lavoti here, Tech Supporter Enabling Devices. Today I'd like to show you one of our new products, the item number 1166, the iPad Switch Interface. So let's get started. What I'd like to do is just give you a quick overview of what the iPad Wireless Switch Interface is. It is a switch interface which will allow you to use from one to two switches to work with your iPad in an iPad app that is switch friendly and what that means is an app that was written for switch access. It will not control any other functions or features of your iPad. It will, it will just work within those apps written for switch use. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how the iPad wireless interface works with the switch and a simple basic AAC app. First thing I'm going to do is plug in my switch and I'm going to launch my app. And this again is a simple AAC app. You have your choices of messages here on the left hand side and we've highlighted uh, just a simple message that we've pre-recorded and I'm going to use my switch to relay that information. I'm hungry. I would like something to drink and eat please. And I can change it to a different message. Hello, my name is David. What's your name? It was nice to see you today. Goodbye. Again, this is an introductory type app to start them off on basic AAC function. And then once the user, if they're able to move forward, they can go to a more advanced AAC app something with maybe scan selection where it would the switch would actually highlight different selections and then they would choose their selection once it's highlighted uh, and also some other apps also support two switch use for more advanced users. So what I'd like to do right now is give you some information on the interface about how you charge it and get it ready for use with the iPad. We're going to show you how to sync it and then set your switches up with it as well. So the first thing I want to just let you know, the uh, interface uses a rechargeable lithium-ion battery. So there's no batteries that need to be changed or replaced. We give you an included USB to mini USB charging cable. You can charge this from any computer with a USB port. It'll take about six hours to give you a full charge. You can use an AC wool wart as they're called with a USB plug in it and that'll charge it much faster, probably about two hours to three hours. The interface does have a light on here, the indicator light, and in the manual if you read that it'll actually tell you what the level of charge is when you're using it based on the flashes it gives. So what I'd like to do now is show you how you pair this with your iPad. Now this only has to be paired once. Once the once the device is paired with the iPad, you'll not have to repeat this process unless you remove the device, which you can if you'd like to. But when you're using it, you just have to pair it once. And let me show you how to do that. All right. The first thing we want to do is we're going to need to power up our interface before we start the pairing process. This is your on-off power button. And what you need to do is let's, um, let's get into our iPad. First thing you need to do on your iPad is go to your settings menu, then go under general, then once you're in general you're going to pick Bluetooth, turn your Bluetooth on. On the iPad interface you're going to want to press this red power button for about one second until the green light comes on. Once the green light comes on, release the button. This will put the iPad interface into what they call discovery mode. Okay. And in about a second, you'll see it come up as enabling. And now you just tell it to pair. And you wait for a confirmation that tells you you're connected. Okay, it's now connected. For any reason, if you wanted to remove this, you would just um, click over here. And you could tell it, forget this device, and it will, it will wipe it out. So now you see you're connected. And this is, like I said, if I turn even my Bluetooth off, device is going to disappear, but if I turn my Bluetooth back on, it will connect in about a second or two. And that's it. When you're done using the iPad interface, you need to power it down. 
Uh, very important, do not let the battery run down until it's completely exhausted. Doing so will damage the lithium ion battery in here. You should, uh, you can charge it after each use if you like, um, but you'll get a few hours out of use between charges. And again, refer to the user's guide and it will give you an overview of how you can tell what percentage is left on the battery before you need to recharge it. To power it down, you're going to hold this red power button until the light turns red. As soon as it turns red, release it and it should power down. Now it's powered off. So there you have it, the iPad interface, item 1166. You can purchase this item on our website at enablingdevices.com, through our phone sales at 1-800-832-8697, and through our catalog. Thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you soon.